Have you ever wondered about the most remote and inaccessible locations on our planet? Well, Greenland, Iceland, or Antarctica are probably the first places that come to your mind. However, some places on Earth are even more challenging to reach. These places typically hold a certain allure and fascination for many adventurous souls. In today's video, we will visit 15 hard to reach places on Earth. Before we go on, do like and subscribe to this channel. Also, ensure you turn on your notifications to know when we drop new videos. Let's go. Cape Melville Cape Melville is located near the large Australian city of Brisbane. It is a rugged and isolated area that presents great threats to explorers. The climate in the area is extreme, with heat and cold, rain and thunderstorms, gusty winds and hail, all being common occurrences. For those brave enough to attempt to leave their mark on the top of Cape Melville, they would have to face an absolute hell on Earth. The terrain of Cape Melville has a dense jungle and dangerous predators. This has made it nearly impossible to navigate on foot. Those who attempt it will likely become disoriented and lost and, and may even be attacked by wildlife. Even helicopters aren't a good idea, as there are frequent thunderstorms and air whirlwinds. Despite these challenges, Cape Melville remains an alluring destination for adventurous explorers. The area has a unique and diverse range of flora and fauna. Several species that are found nowhere else in the world exist there. Cape Melville offers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience the raw power and beauty of nature in its purest form. North Sentinel Island Despite being one of the most isolated islands on Earth, North Sentinel Island is home to a community of indigenous people who have lived there for thousands of years. Their way of life and culture remain largely unknown. The island is virtually impossible to access due to the hostility of its inhabitants towards outsiders. The people of North Sentinel Island have been known to react with extreme aggression toward anyone attempting to approach their shores. The risks involved in accessing it far outweigh any potential benefits of exploring it. The island is not only difficult to access, but also poses a potential risk of introducing diseases to the isolated community. While it may be tempting to explore this uncharted territory, it is essential to respect the wishes of the island's inhabitants and preserve their way of life for future generations to discover and learn from. Supai Village Supai Village is one of the most isolated and remote communities in the United States. It is located in the heart of the Grand Canyon, Arizona. It is the capital of the Havasupai Indian Reservation. The only way to reach it is by foot, mule, or helicopter, no roads leading to the village. Supai is home to about 200 members of the Havasupai tribe who have lived in the Grand Canyon for over 800 years. The village is surrounded by stunning natural beauty, including waterfalls, red rock formations, and the winding Colorado River. Supai Village is a popular tourist destination due to its excellent scenery and the opportunity to hike and explore the Grand Canyon. Visitors can stay in the village's lodge or camp at the nearby Havasupai campground and walk to some of the most iconic landmarks in the area. Cape York Cape York is the northernmost point of Australia. It typically has a population density of zero individuals per square kilometer. It is far from any major cities or urban centers. Very few people are willing to brave the journey to live there. Even the nearest town of Carnes is a grueling 28-hour drive away. One of the reasons that Cape York remains so isolated is its proximity to dangerous wildlife, specifically crocodiles. These apex predators have made the picturesque Cape their breeding ground. They are found throughout the region's rivers and waterways. Despite the challenges of living in such an isolated and dangerous environment, Cape York is a place of outstanding natural beauty and cultural significance. The region has several indigenous communities, each with unique traditions and customs. The area's rainforests and wetlands support various plant and animal life. These rare and endangered species include the northern quoll and the palm cockatoo. Despite its isolation and challenges, Cape York remains a place of great allure for adventurers, travelers, and nature enthusiasts. Villa La Estrella Villa La Estrella is a small Chilean town located on King George Island. It is the only civilian settlement on the continent. It has a population of approximately 100 people during the summer months and around 80 people during the winter. The town was established in 1984 as a research base. However, it has since evolved into a permanent settlement. It now has a school, a post office, a hospital, a small supermarket, and even a souvenir shop. Living in Villa La Estrella is difficult, as the harsh Antarctic climate is not friendly to humans. Villa La Estrella has an average temperature of around negative 10 degrees centigrade, 
14 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer months and dropping to about negative 30 degrees centigrade, negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit during the winter. Despite its remote location, Villa La Estrella has modern amenities and services, including internet access, television, and regular flights to and from Punta Arena, Chile. The town serves as a gateway to nearby research stations. It is also a popular destination for tourists who want to experience life on the world's southernmost continent. La Riconada La Riconada is a small town located in the Andes Mountains in Peru. It sits at an elevation of 5,100 meters, 16,700 feet above sea level. It is regarded as the highest permanent settlement in the world. Despite its high altitude and harsh living conditions, the town is home to over 30,000 people. The town is located in a remote and inhospitable region. It registers five extreme cold temperatures and high levels of ultraviolet radiation. The lack of oxygen at this altitude can also cause health problems, such as headaches, dizziness, and shortness of breath. It also has limited access to necessities like water, food, and medical care. Despite these challenges, La Rinconada has opportunities for work and economic advancement in the nearby gold mines. These opportunities draw people here. However, their jobs often come with high risks and poor working conditions. Before we proceed, please like and subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to turn on your notifications to know whenever we drop new videos. Okay, let's move. The Namuli Mountains The Namuli Mountains are found in the heart of Mozambique. Despite the many attempts to conquer this mountain range, none have successfully scaled its summit. The rocks of Namuli have a unique shape, resembling jagged knives cutting into the sky. These towering peaks pose a challenge even to the most experienced mountaineers. Its steep slopes prove too much for even the most modern equipment. Namuli's inaccessibility has ensured that the region remains largely untouched and unexplored. This has helped preserve its pristine natural beauty. The area is also home to several indigenous communities. Visitors can explore the lush forests and discover hidden waterfalls as we learn about the local cultures and traditions. Namuli is a place where the natural world reigns supreme and where the human spirit is tested to its limits. Pitcairn Island Pitcairn Island is a territory that technically belongs to Great Britain. It is a mysterious place that even the British may not know much about. The island is found in the Pacific Ocean. It is made up of four volcanic islands. Of these four, only one, Pitcairn Island, is inhabited. The island has a population of around 50 people, mostly descended from the Bounty Mountaineers and their Polynesian companions. Several cargo and passenger ships take tourists on board. Getting to the island requires a flight to Tahiti and then sailing from the small islands of French Polynesia. The few tourists who make it to Pitcairn Island contribute significantly to its annual income. There are no hotels, embassies, or visa centers on the island. However, residents welcome tourists into their homes and provide them with everything they need. There are several buildings explicitly constructed for visitors. Pitcairn Island is a must-visit destination for travelers seeking a real challenge and a truly exotic experience. Edinburgh of the Seven Seas Edinburgh of the Seven Seas is a small settlement on the remote island of Tristan da Cunha in the South Atlantic Ocean. It is one of the most isolated human settlements on Earth. It has no airport or roads. It is only accessible by sea. The village was founded in the early 19th century by American seal hunters and was later used as a base for British military garrisons during World War II. Today, the population of Edinburgh of the Seven Seas is around 250 people. Despite its remote location, Edinburgh of the Seven Seas has some modern amenities, including a small hospital, a school, and a post office. The village is also known for its unique dialect. They have a mix of Scottish and South African English. Visitors to Edinburgh of the Seven Seas can enjoy hiking in the surrounding hills and valleys, bird watching, and fishing in the waters around the island. Isolation has helped Edinburgh of the Seven Seas maintain its unique character and way of life. Sondong Cave Sundong Cave is a true natural wonder that has captured the attention of adventurers. Sundong has become one of the most sought-after destinations for explorers owing to its size and stunning natural structures. The cave has massive walls that tower over 200 meters high and span 150 meters wide. It is currently recognized as the largest cave in the world. Sundong features unique holes in its ceiling that allow sunlight to filter in. This has helped the plants and animals there harness solar energy. As a result, the cave is home to a wide range of flora and fauna, including insects, various species of birds, and even monkeys. Gankar Puensum Gankar Puensum is an excellent mountain, rising to 7,570 meters. It is not only the highest peak in Bhutan, but also the highest unclimbed mountain in the world. 
Various climbers have attempted to summit the mountain, but none have. Bhutan now has a strict policy of preserving its environment and culture. Climbing above 6,000 meters is prohibited by law. This is to help protect the sacredness of the mountain. Gangkar Panunsum is not only a challenge for mountain climbers, but also a unique natural and cultural heritage. It is surrounded by lush forests. It is also home to a diverse range of wildlife, including endangered species such as the snow leopard and the Himalayan black bear. Despite the challenges and restrictions, Gangkar Puensum continues to attract explorers. The Star Mountains The Star Mountains of Papua New Guinea are one of the great destinations known as the Hindenburg Wall. The Hindenburg Wall is a towering limestone that rises over a kilometer high. It forms a massive plateau, sheltering a unique ecosystem preserved for centuries. Recently, researchers who ventured to this remote region were astounded. They discovered numerous previously unknown species of both plants and animals. The Hindenburg Wall and the surrounding Star Mountains are a haven for wildlife, including several rare species. Many of these animals and plants are found nowhere else on Earth. The Star Mountain region is also culturally important to the local indigenous communities, who have lived harmoniously with the environment for generations. Even with its remote locations and challenging climate, the Star Mountains continue to attract researchers, adventurers, and conservationists. The Kerguelen Islands the Kerguelen Islands are also known as the Desolation Islands. It is a group of islands in the southern Indian Ocean about halfway between Africa and Antarctica. The archipelago consists of one large island, Grand Terra, and several smaller islands. The islands cover a total land of about 7,215 square kilometers. The islands are known for their harsh and isolated environment. This isolation has resulted in a unique ecosystem of flora and fauna. The islands house various species of birds, including penguins, albatrosses, and petrels. Marine mammals, such as seals and sea lions, also exist in the surrounding waters. The Kerguelen Islands were first discovered by the French navigator Yves Joseph de Kerguelen Tremarac in 1772. Since then, the islands have been used for various purposes, including as a base for seal hunting and scientific research. Today, the Kerguelen Islands are a nature reserve, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to their unique biodiversity. However, there is limited access to this island. Only selected scientists and researchers are allowed to visit each year. The island remains a largely untouched and remote corner of the world. The Havari Valley the Havarli Valley is located in the western part of Brazil, close to the border with Peru. It is one of the most remote and isolated areas in the world. It is home to at least 14 uncontacted Amazon tribes. This isolation is partially due to the local government's decision. Approximately 2,000 indigenous people are completely autonomous from the Brazilian government. The size of their habitat is comparable to Australia. Furthermore, their right to live in isolation is protected by a federal agency. Special forces monitor the borders, protecting the tribes from intrusion by outsiders. The dense, tropical forests, full of poisonous snakes, have deterred people from exploring the valley for a long time. This mysterious place is shrouded in mystery. For instance, the disappearance of a group of scientists who went to explore the area in the 1960s. The treacherous terrain, dangerous wildlife, and lack of communication with the outside world have made the Havari Valley an unexplored territory. The Tibetan Plateau The Tibetan Plateau is a vast region in Central Asia. It spans over 2.5 million square kilometers. It is home to the Himalayan mountain range and the world's highest peak, Mount Everest. However, despite its awe-inspiring natural beauty, the Tibetan Plateau is isolated. It takes almost three weeks to travel from the plateau's center to the nearest large cities. The plateau's hard terrain make it isolated and challenging to traverse. However, the Tibetan Plateau is home to over 6 million people, many of whom are Tibetan Buddhists. Despite its isolation, the Tibetan Plateau is a vital region essential to the world's climate and ecology. It is sometimes called the roof of the world due to its high elevation. It is home to many endangered species, such as the Tibetan antelope and snow leopard. The plateau also serves as a water source for many of the world's major rivers, including the Yangtze, Mekong, and Brahmaputra. That's all for today, friends. I hope you learned something new. Do like and subscribe to this channel. Drop comments on more topics you'd like us to cover. Bye for now.